Yeah, I just I want to open and say how excited we are to be a part of this. I want to thank the University of Indiana for their hospitality and the people that we've met so far have just been so gracious and helped us in, in, a, in a great way get set up uh, the tournament committee and, and uh, you know for our first experience here at Youngstown State we, we couldn't ask for anything nicer or anything better and uh, again excited about it especially for our seniors and our older guys that have been in the program for multiple years. Uh, that they have an opportunity to experience uh, this kind of success at the end of their career. So, couldn't be happier and, and uh, glad we're here. Questions for the players? Hey, fellas and gentlemen, what changed last week? I mean, what all came together for you guys during the tournament that maybe hadn't been there much of uh, We uh, played together. It was, it was fun to be a part of. Our dugout was down from pitch one to the last. Our pitchers pitched phenomenally. It was unbelievable to be behind and play defense for them. And hitting wise, we just had a lot of confidence and we jumped on them and got out ahead. And I think that was a big key. I guess to follow up on that, how do you carry that over? And I know it's not apples to apples, a conference tournament to a regional, but it's the same general idea. How do you carry that success last week over to this? I think we're just going to um, take the same approach as Coach uh, G always tells us to slow the game down and take it, take it one pitch at a time. I think. Uh, be good if we do that. Yes, sir. For Patrick and Alex, obviously the pitching was a lot better than it had been all year. So what do you, you know, is there anything you guys did differently at all, or was there anything just working better for you that uh, than happens for most of the season? Well, uh, I mean, we've been pitching all year. We have a program in, in our running, and uh, we, we, we basically, right now it's about repetition. Like Coach was telling us, it's more of repetition and, and just keeping it, keep it fresh and making sure we're in our spots and, and uh, Working with uh, things like that, I, I would say. Phil, a, a follow up to the previous one. Now that you're in the regional as compared to the league tournament, how do you maintain that level of focus without being in awe of the event that you guys are now participating in? Well, I mean, it's great to be out here. Obviously, the crowd's going to be awesome tomorrow. But we're going to be out there the same as the way we were in the Horizon Tournament. We're not going to be awestruck by anything. We're just going to go out there. Nobody's expecting anything of us but ourselves. So there's no, really no pressure on us. We're going to go out there and have fun. So I'm going to try to get started and see what happens. So you guys got a little bit of a tour of the ballpark there toward the end of your practice. So what did you learn from the ballpark when you were wandering around? Oh, we're just seeing how the ball ricochets off of different parts of the field and not, being, not playing here all year. Uh, we're trying to use the where the ball hits here, where it's going to go. It's more for like outfielders backing up and behind the backstop, pass balls, seeing when you can go and when you can't. So I mean, that's basically what we're doing out there. General question, but for hitters or pitchers, what do you guys know about Indiana? What maybe the talking points, the toughest guy to report? Well, we know Indiana is a good baseball team. Um, we know they're hosting the regional, and uh, we're, we're playing that game. Game one tomorrow night, and uh, we're excited. I know, I know that everybody in the dugout, everybody wearing the Y, is, is excited to get after it. And uh, I think I think we're all confident to, to play some baseball and, and play as a team and, and keep keep everything keep everything together. Kind of a follow up on that. Last year at the regional here, Valpo came in and, and had a pretty good game. The first game against Indiana. You guys take anything from that? Uh, you know, another Horizon League team doing well here. Yeah, we're just, you know, we're not too worried about the you know, name right across the chest. You know, we have full confidence right now. We're going to bring the same intensity as we did in the Rise of the Tournament into this tournament, and I think we'll be good. Anything else for the players? All right, you guys are good to go.
middle part of the season. Our catcher was an all-conference uh, return, and uh, he, he missed five weeks. Two-thirds of our weekend rotation from early on uh, has, has not pitched in six to seven weeks. So, we, we, I mean, we're really a little bit, a little bit of a hodgepodge, and uh, we have played a lot of young guys that, that had to grow up, and then, then there was a learning curve in, in uh, Division One baseball for them. And I think we finally got to where we settled in. I mean, I'm sure you've, you've seen the, the game notes that we had uh, in, you know, 41 different lineups in 41 games, and uh, I mean, that's almost impossible to do. But I think the consistency came at the, at the end of the season, especially with the pitching, and that allowed us to play better baseball. We've always been a pretty good defensive team, and uh, some of our younger hitters got, got where they were a little more confident, but ultimately we pitched well in that, in that conference tournament. I think it was a 1.8 ERA for the four-game stretch or you know, somewhere in there. So I think that's the biggest thing is we just finally were able to settle in and got into some, some sense of uh, consistency with, with, uh, with our play. I guess talking about particularly coming off of that, I guess how do you manage coming off of the high of that kind of emotional run? getting into a setting like this and not letting those guys, even if they have started to find some of that consistency and that comfort, not let guys just sort of get carried away with the emotion of what I would imagine was going from, you know, kind of coming from the back to the horizon thing and then obviously coming into a, a setting like this. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's going to be something that we'll have to stay focused with, uh, you know, and pay attention to uh, uh, our team that we continue to play against the game and not so much against the opponent and that, uh, you know, the, the game will unfold before us and that we don't try to make too much happen uh, that, that we're incapable of. But as far as, uh, you know, the way we played at the end of the year, the intensity was immense, uh, the, the energy was fantastic, and the, the, one of the biggest things was there was a little bit of a chip on their shoulder because we knew we were better than a six-win team in the league from a talent standpoint, and we knew we were much better than a 12-win team from a regular season uh, standpoint. So I think they went into it with something to prove, and um, the way they played, I think, is easy, uh, easier to repeat in this type of setting than if we had uh, you know, just kind of, you know, kind of rocked along pretty steady from, from game one to the end. So you know, the, the fact that, that we were that focused uh, in how we played and, and who we were playing and what we were trying to do, that's much easier, in my opinion, to repeat in this type of setting. But it's, it's, going to be, it's going to be unique. We haven't been on this type of stage too often, for sure. They seem to have embraced the underdog role, and you know, no one's expecting anything of us. But at the same time, you get the feel that it's still the, you know, we've got something to prove at the regional level, too? Yeah, I believe so, because I still don't think anybody uh, within our league and, and, and uh, within our conference, uh, you know, maybe the, the front office, really understands quite what happened up in Milwaukee. And I'm not sure I even understand what, quite what happened up in Milwaukee because it was, it was impressive, it was dominant. Uh, you know, no doubt we were, we were playing better than anybody up there offensively, defensively, pitching-wise. Uh, we were the best team in that tournament uh, when that absolutely wasn't the case during the course of most of the year. So I, I think they, they enjoyed that, that underdog, uh, us against the world uh, kind of thing, and, and uh, they've embraced it. But I think they're also very confident in, in their skill level and kind of where we are right now. I wonder about talking about pitching a little bit. What did you know, what was different for those guys? Did, did you have a group that you feel like always kind of had the stuff and just sort of found control, or, or what got better for those guys individually? Um, you know, just during that. During that yeah. Well, you know, our bullpen. Uh, we, we had four or five guys out of our bullpen that were very solid, and we tried to keep them together. We 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 had some guys at the front end of games that, that were starting games that weren't having the success that, that maybe they were hoping for, that we were hoping for. And we didn't want to break up the bullpen because I kept thinking they're going to come around, they're going to come around. But you know, with that weather, we lost, we lost two weekend series. So we had, we, had a, we had pitched those starters, had a week off, lost a series, lost a series and then pitched. So, so really they, they, didn't, uh, they didn't get any kind of consistent work in a three week period. And, um, when you're not throwing well, and then you're not getting out there for a chance to kind of redeem yourself, that they, they were not a very confident group with our starting pitching. But I felt they would come come around, and uh, you know because they were older, uh, they were a little more experienced. You know, Pat O'Brien, fifth year senior, um, you know had an ERA, uh, you know low fours maybe if I'm trying to remember from a year ago, and uh, you know just for him to be hovering around an eight, opponents hitting 350. I mean I know 
he was wanting to do something special for the team. And it just, his last three or four starts were more like what Pat O'Brien normally does. And I think when he was able to do that, and some of our uh, younger guys, the freshmen, started getting opportunities to start some games uh, and gaining a little more confidence, I think it kind of allowed the bullpen you know, to, to relax and do what they did. So it, it all kind of gelled at the same time when the starting pitching got good. Your plan in Indiana team that went to the College World Series, obviously, they won 30 of their last 33 games. A lot of teams here today have seen to have said that they're more focused on worrying about themselves rather than the other team. Is that the way you are as well? We are, because I mean, we we are you know, we are who we are, and um, you know, there's there's limitations that we have as a team that are you know we're not going to turn around. You know, we're, we're not we're not a big power hitting team. We're not all of a sudden going to start. Dropping three run homers everywhere this week just because it's a regional. Uh, so we have to do what we're able to do and try to do, not try to do anything more and, and just you know, you'll be able to repeat kind of the things that, that we're able to do well as often as, as we can and then when they present themselves. And I think that you know this time of year it, it's kind of the way you go about and you win tournaments is the consistency and the and the and the day to day approach because you have to be good. You know, right away and, and maintain and sustain good play for four days.